You've tuned in to Visit Vegas Places. Definitely, this is where we talk about the here and now of our listeners. Uh, this is uh, Visit Vegas Places with your host, Coil, uh, where we discuss real Vegas, real topics, real business with real owners. Uh, my guest today is a special guest. Um, it's a real good man. Um, this is uh, Mickey, Mickey Gaminoff, owner of AsVabDomination.com, Gamino Tutors. Um, now, um, this website, what he does is very important, um, especially for those that's coming out of high school or um, wanting or thinking about joining the military. Now, if you want to get more proficient and prepared for the exam, which is the ASVAB test, reach your full potentials. This is the tutor, uh, Las Vegas math and arithmetic courses he does offer. I want to introduce you guys. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, Mickey Gaminaw. Mickey, introduce yourself to the audience. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Mickey Gaminaw. Uh Coyle got it exactly right. Coyle, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here on Visit Vegas Places. Oh, I'm honored to have you, Mickey. Honored to have you. Now, uh, Mickey, let the um, audience know your background. If I'm not mistaken, you, you, you are, were a second lieutenant, correct? That's right. Uh, I'm currently wearing my OCS shirt. For those of you who are listening on audio, uh, officer candidate school. I'm a second lieutenant with the Nevada National Guard, um, and I joined the Army at the age of 30. And I'm currently a platoon leader up here at the North Las Vegas Readiness Center. Uh, and I love it. I love what I do over there. Wow. Now, see, at you did you say at the age of 30, I swear when I was like 25 or 26, I was deterred of trying to even think about joining because I thought I was too old. No doubt. That's that's yep. inst- man. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, it was. Uh, I mean, some people would call it like a midlife crisis, right? I was coming up on 30 and I knew <laughs> that I wanted to join the military and it was kind of a do or die thing, right? Like I've, I can wait. But all that's going to happen if I wait is the time's going to pass. So I just kind of had to pull the trigger. Right. Wow, man, that's that's inspirational right there. Uh, I couldn't join right now, right at my 42 years of age, could I? Uh, 42, you'd have to talk to a recruiter. You'd have to get a hell of a good recruiter to write you a really good waiver. <laughs> uh, but it, it it's happened. It's definitely happened. Yeah. All yeah, right, like, sure. like, hey, take me. I'm I'm real good at supervising youngsters. I can <laughs> holler at them all day. Make sure I can. <laughs> Heck yeah! As long as uh, you got that down, you'll go far. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now, now, uh, now, Mickey, explain to the audience what exactly you do, and um, let them know what what is your company and um, your purpose. For sure. All right. Perfect. So. Uh, like you, Coil, I am interested in helping people. So I am a teacher by trade. I studied at University of Nevada, Las Vegas, got my bachelor's degree in secondary education with a focus in math. Um, and then I disappeared into Morocco for two years with the Peace Corps. And I learned a little bit of Arabic. Mm-hmm. I taught some English out there. Um, and now I am back in Vegas working as an ASVAB tutor. So I help people who are joining the military wow. get in at the highest possible level, get that best career because you're signing wow. a contract for anywhere from three to six years. And you want those three to six years to be well spent. You want to come at the end of that. You want to have options. You want to have decisions you can make. And you don't want to just be back where you were before you joined. So um, I help people reach those goals. Wow, that is beautiful. Now, it's funny you said Morocco. Um, you mentioned Morocco. To be honest with you, I want to give shots out to Morocco. I know they're listening. Um, I can. I would say uh, out of the country, I have 60 to 75% of my listeners out the country are at are in Morocco. It's oh, wow. funny you say that. So it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Let me, let me, salam alaikum. Kush <laughs> 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 They are listening. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 70% of my listeners are in Morocco. So that is real good news. Real good news. Now, I want to get into this website, which is important. Um, um, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, high schoolers, if you're listening, uh, this is the man right here for the ASVAB. Now his company, which is ASVABDomination.com, um, uh, Gaminaw Tutors, um, this is some of the services he has. 
Now, as he get into it, if you go to his website, which is asvabdomination.com, you will see where it offers a full program. Now, um, um, Mickey, could you get into the full program services and what would that offer? Absolutely. So I have a full program. It's the best thing that you can do to prepare for the ASVAB. Um, it is three or more times per week. You'll meet with me or one of my team members, one of my fellow tutors, and we will go over the different subtests of the ASVAB. Usually people are struggling the most with math. So that's what I am. I'm a math teacher. Uh, so I teach math knowledge and arithmetic reasoning, which is going to be like your story questions, mm -hmm. all of your geometry, percentages, fractions, all that stuff. And if that kind of stuff scares you when it comes to standardized testing, that's who you need. That's when you need to come in and see me because you don't need to be afraid of that. If you're if you're able to, right. you know, exist in today's world, you should be able to do fractions. And if they scare you, mm -hmm. that's OK. It just means that it's something something that we can work through and get you better, you know, just like somebody who's like neglected their, their training physically, you know, if you're out of shape, that doesn't mean right. that you're a bad person. It just means that you can, you can right. go try and get in shape, you know? So exact same thing. Right. We try to help people get mentally fit so that they can succeed in the, uh, in the military test. Right. I love it. Now, and you hear that you have to take that first step. Um, again, if you don't take that first step, uh, you will not realize that there are resources out there to get you up there to that step, that 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 potential or even have you ready and prepared to the next um, you know level that you need to take it to. Now, again, in order to take that first step, you would definitely have to reach out. Um, of course, uh, Mickey is not going around knocking on people's doors. You definitely have to make this first step of reaching out. Now, Mickey, where are, what are all your social media handles um, before we get into the next um, the next course you do offer? What are your social media handles and website for the audience? Absolutely. So you can find me on Instagram at Gaminal Tutors. That's G A M O N A L. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Gammon All Tutors. You can find me on TikTok uh, on Gammon All Tutors as well. Um, the ASVAB domination thing is a bit of a rebrand. So now I'm all in on the ASVAB. Ever since I joined the military, I want to help people get where they want to be in the military. Um, I don't, I'm not just right. your generic tuner anymore. Now I'm a, now I specialize. So specializing has helped right. me to serve my students better and it's helped my students get more success. So that's where I, that's right. like my wheelhouse now. So, um, right. but you can find me on all socials, Gaminol Tutors. Gaminol, you hear that. And this is a good man. And if, um, again, if you heard he, he joined the military at 30, if that's not more interesting enough for you, I don't know what else to say. Uh, good man. <laughs> uh, now, um, 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 Mickey, let's get into the freebies. We all love freebies. Um, I saw that on your website. Um, get into what, let us know more about the freebies. Yeah, I got two freebies that I'm really excited about on my website right now. Uh, one of which I just designed yesterday. It's an ASVAB practice test. So usually hmm. when people are anxious about taking a test, it's because they don't and they don't feel like studying for it. It's because they're afraid of how much time it's going to take. So the test that I've created is very, okay. very short okay. because I recognize that people don't want to do something that's tough for like hours at a time right away. So first you take this practice test. It's just five math questions, five English questions. Nothing too crazy. It's not super simple. Like it's a good it's a good indication of like what's easy, what's hard on the test. So it's okay. 10 questions you go through, you get your answer key. And uh, I'll even I'll even speak with you afterwards, ask you about how, you know, what you think you're doing right, what you think you're doing wrong. So this practice test wow. has uh, I've had it for about a year and I think it's a really good stepping stone um, if you're not ready to commit to tutoring and you're not too sure um, about going, you know, both feet in. You just want to dip a toe. Right. You try this practice test and get a feeling for how it goes. That makes sense. Now, that is nice. Um, now, um, you did mention uh, the uh, a contact. So although it is virtual, uh, there is a human aspect of this service where we, you, they can actually contact you in case, you know, they, um, you know, do get a little shakes. If they go want to go further or are just unaware, uh, they can contact you, correct? 
A hundred percent coil. I do everything I can for my students. Uh, I'm not a cheap tutoring service. And the reason that I charge is because I want to be able to do everything that I can for my clients. So if you're, right. if you're paying me, I am your tutor. I am a hundred percent on board trying to see you succeed, uh, every day, five days a week. I'm checking in with you on the weekends. I'm giving you homework and I am really just pushing you as hard as you can go because we want that success as quickly as possible and we want to see you that's succeed. Right. So that's, that's exactly how we roll. And as soon right. as we get a new student, so if, you, if, if you're listening and you're um, on the social media, your high schoolers, this is not just an ebook. Uh, so this is a, a real step to the real next level. Um, once you decide on taking that step. Um, so this is just not an ebook that you order and you tuck to the side. Uh, Mikey's going to get real involved to make sure you succeed to the next level. And um, speaking of succeeding to the next level, um, you do have courses. Um, I did see that. Um, give us um, a little education on the courses that you offer. Okay. So that's what, like I say, I got all levels, right? I got a practice test that's for free. And then I have an online program. Coil, for your listeners, I'm doing a special uh, special promotion code. Uh, if they do your name, uh, I'll let that be a promo code, and you can get $70 off my $100 course. So it's just 30 bucks. Okay. You go on to uh, take this practice test. It's going to go through just the math. So ASVAB math uh, practice, and it's got video explanations and 57 math questions. It's broken down by subjects. So geometry, percentages, fractions, ratios, probability, all that stuff um, right there for you. And you can see videos and see kind of where the gaps in your game are. Um, and yeah, you can use that promo code and give it a shot. There you go. Promo coil. You guys know the name promo coil. And, um, and it's funny. I'm glad you did say that. Cause I was about to mention in on the 70% off coupon. Once you go on there now, um, now it's a beautiful website again. Um, um, uh, Mickey, let, um, everyone know your, um, social media handles and the website, sir. Okay. So once again, my social media is going to be Gaminol tutors. That's on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram and YouTube. And then you can also find me at asvabdomination.com. Yes, sir. And let him know quickly about the checklist, which pops up when you go to his website. Um, he's giving you a free checklist. Uh, let him know what the checklist about is about. For sure. So my free ASVAB checklist, it's formatted perfectly to fit on your phone. So it is going to be something that you can save those photos in a special folder and just swipe through those throughout your day at work or whatever to build skills in word knowledge, math knowledge, and arithmetic reasoning. It also has my five tips for preparing for this test. Um, do, you want, do you mind if I run through those real quick? Run through them. Yes, sir. All right, cool. So uh, step one is going to be prepare a comfortable area to study. This is really important. You can't really study if you're sitting in the living room trying to watch Game of Thrones. You're probably not going to be studying. Mm. So what you need to be doing is right. having a location where it's calm, comfortable, and peaceful where you can go through and study. So make sure you have that area. Next, you want to make a to-do list. Some of the best things in the world have come from to-do lists. To-do lists are just small steps in getting closer to whatever you really want. And so getting that to-do list started is super duper important. So you need a base of operations and a plan of action, right? Prepare your comfortable space, get your to-do list. From there, I recommend joining an online group. You can join my online group on Facebook. I got a Facebook group uh, through Gammon All Tutors. But you can find a lot of ASVAB groups on Facebook, on Reddit, on YouTube. Go ahead and join an online group so you can find some friends who are going through the same struggle you are. You've got two choices in life. You can either try to go it alone or you can ask for help. And people who ask for help are always going to get a lot more results because they're working with other people who need that help. And you know it's not just you. One of the toughest things about doing anything right. in the world is right. feeling alone. And so you got to get that online group. Uh, step number four, and this is what a lot of people miss, is review. Look at what you've done, right? Because we're always forward thinking. We're always thinking about what we need to do next. We're always thinking about, you know, the new chair that we want to buy. We're always thinking about the new, you know, 
event that we're trying to plan, whatever it is, what we need to be doing is looking at how far we've come, right? Pat yourself on the back, mm. man. If all you did was prepare a comfortable wow. space, you're better than you were last right. week. You know, now you have a comfortable space. That's, <laughs> That's fine. <true>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then the last one is to take breaks. Be kind to yourself. Math is hard, man. If you've been avoiding it for a lot of years, take some time. Be patient with yourself. You don't have to get frustrated right. and give up. Be kind to yourself. That's good. I I, I thank you for sharing that, uh, uh, Mickey. That was beautiful. That number five is funny. You said that on my whiteboard. I have uh, like four whiteboards up uh, in, in, in my um, little space. And then one of them says, uh, pause. Um, but it says, it says uh, p- uh, take time to pause because uh, pausing powers preparation. Uh, so it does. So when you pause, you know, you don't have to every make a quick move for everything. All of a sudden it pause. And then that asking for, sure. for help is very important. Um, I know nowadays um, with this era now, it's a lot of people that are afraid to ask for help uh, with the notion of afraid of either looking dumb uh, where I was always taught that uh, there's no dumb question. The only dumb question is the one not asked. Uh, so never be afraid. You're never alone. And uh, this is real good. Um, 100%. Now, um, um, uh, Mickey, Mickey, I want to get into something. With my guests, I do tips, tests, and testimonies. And uh, with you, I have a, a tip I would like you to uh, share with the audience. And uh, with you, I want you to give a tip on um, any advice that you would give uh, to those that are undecided, um, undecided, um, not even just out of high school, but like um, as you have a testimony, um, again, if you're just joining, Mickey joined the Army and when he was 30. Um, so what would be a tip when you're 25? I've been through that myself, um, being 25, I'm a young father, actually not knowing where to go, uh, what should I do? And um, just listen to me this earlier when I told you, like, if I would have knew that I could have joined, I would have. And that just alone, not being educated, didn't it stop me from going. And, you know, and who was I going to ask? Like, hey, how old you got to be to join? And here I am, 25, asking somebody out. That sounds dumb. Um, so what <laughs> advice would you give to someone, you know, <laughs> to um, <laughs> for them to, you know, take an approach to get help? What advice would you give? So, so my tip when it comes to all decision making is, uh, I didn't really realize this until I married my, my beautiful wife is think binary. Think either A or B. Either I'm going to do the thing or I'm not. And then you only have right. to ask yourself, which will I regret more? And then the decision's obvious, mm. right? What happens is we get so many decisions. We're so used to Netflix where we can watch, you know, a hundred different shows at any time, right? But we only have from right. 5 p.m. to midnight. So we got to figure out what we're going to watch. <laughs> we're paralyzed by choice, right? It's a paradox. Right. And so what I recommend is think about what you're going to regret least. Put it down to two. Boil it down to two. Either whether it's join the military or don't join the military, whether it's, um, you know, this mm-hmm. major or that major, just boil it down to two things, right. your favorite two things, because both of those, honestly, they're probably both good choices. You probably weeded out all the trash already. So if you've got two choices and you're trying to decide between two good roads to go, pick the one that you're going to regret right. least, right? Pick the one that you like, pick the one that like, sounds like mm-hmm. you're not going to miss out on it. You know, if you right. if you turn right right now and you you have a choice between right and left and you're afraid of missing out what's in left, then it's clear. Go left, bro. Like you got to. That's the one that you're afraid of missing out on. Go. <laughs> That's right. That makes sense. Uh, but the uh, legend Kobe Bryant said you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take. Uh, so, yeah, you, you have to. You have to. Yes. Now, um, For sure. the test. Uh, I, I want to hear us about a test that you experienced when you started either out of fear or whether it's a, a test of something with the ASVAB that you're helping now with. Uh, what triggered you to do this and what test did you, you know, get that, get overcome that fear? Okay. So I was really tested in basic training. Um, it was tough for me. I was an older guy going through. I wasn't the oldest guy in my barracks. They'll take you until you're about 35. And I had a couple 33 year olds who were in the same barracks. Um, but I was one of the older guys. And so it was, it was a struggle. You know, I'm surrounded by a bunch of 18 year olds and they're wondering why I joined so late. 
you know, looking at me like I'm, right. you know, was wasting my life. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, you know, it's tough having an 18 year old right. who thinks that you wasted your life. You know, you got to like, right. you like, got to explain right. yourself. Like I just came from life. You're yeah. like, I just came from life, you youngster. <laughs> exactly. I exactly. left life. Then <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> right, right. Oh. Yeah, but they don't understand, man. They don't understand. They're like, what's going on? You're late to the party. I'm 18. <laughs> it's like you gotta you gotta defend your your identity to these kids. For I mean, right, and you don't, right. you know, like if we were on the street and some right. 18 year old kid asked me why are you wasting your life, I'd be like, I'd walk away, you know. But if you're in a barracks, you got no choice. You got no choice. Right. So. You gotta take that. You have to take it. Yep. Yep. So it was, uh, oh, I mean, I, it was a good time. I had a good time in basic training, but I, it was definitely a test. It was definitely a bit of a struggle sometimes. All right. That's good, man. Now give us a testimony, um, a good testimony, um, that you would like to, um, share with us, you know, for those listening, um, across the world, actually, um, a testimony that you would love to share with us. Absolutely. So I had a, my, my distinguished honor grad for this year is a guy named Rogers and he worked with me for nine months preparing for this test. And he, you know, he was studying every single day. He was just studying before class, after class, paying attention, asking questions mm -hmm. involved in his future. You know, he was somebody who was already mm -hmm. in the military and was trying to get a better rank. So he okay. recognized the importance of putting the effort wow. in. And okay. that is the greatest testimony I could give is, you know, someone who's, who's wow. put in the effort to get what they want. Man. That's, that's the, that's the life right. we all want to live, man. We all want to be like putting our man. all into something like that. It was amazing to work right. with somebody like and, that. My hat goes off to you guys. And then just knowing that there's guys in their thirties or even older that's in the military, my hat, I mean, of course my hat goes off to everyone in the military, no matter your age, most definitely. Uh, but there's just something in, it's just significant about, you know, in your 30s and going. Um, that's a different set of a heart right there. And um, I don't think um, anybody who's under 30 will understand what I'm saying until they hit 30. And whether you've done that or not, you can understand that, um, you know, like, wow, that that's my hat goes off. Because uh, um, that gives you um, a kind of a motivation, inspiration that it's no matter what you can go, you know, you can. And uh, I wish I, I would have knew that's 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 a very good story um, to have, man. And um, it's your blessing, man, to have and everything. If if you can let everyone know your social media handles and your website for us, Mickey. For sure. So my social media, you can find me on TikTok, Facebook and Instagram at Gammon All Tutors. That's G-A-M-O-N-A-L-T-U-T-O-R-S. Uh, that's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And you can get my website where there's a bunch of free stuff at asvabdomination.com. That's right. Now, um, remember now, 70% off. 70, no, not percent. I'm sorry. $70, not 70%. I'm trying to give it free $70 <laughs> off. If you mention my name, the code coil. Okay. Mention my name. Now, one thing, Mickey, I was, about, I was inquiring on, cause this started to interest me. Uh, what if no one wants to be in the military or they're just too old to be in the military? Can we still take advantage of your services? If we just want to sharpen up our skills and math. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, one of my best students is a guy who's going into the Marines officer program, and he doesn't have to take the ASVAB because okay. he already has a bachelor's degree. So it's one of the little loopholes for the mm. Marines officers. Um, but he's just took my class because he's always been insecure about his math skills. And it's been a pleasure wow. teaching him. You know, people who are trying to learn for the joy of learning, those are those are always Man. a lot of fun to teach. That's music to my ears right there that's beautiful uh, all right now mickey we're going to play this or that um, i'm going to ask you this or that a preference of either or and i try to get it geared to your field and you just let me know which will be your preference okay and then we're going to see how very very vague okay. you are all right so the first question for this or that mickey now when you're not dealing with math um and you have to would you deal with more of a fan of being science or english fan Ooh, science or English? 
Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I think I, I think I'd go English. On I think I'd go English. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that one. That one's brutal. Yeah, that's, that one's. That's brutal. the world balance because it's like yeah, for you to be a math guru. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. You're a world balance man. I can't imagine man. picking. Right. Well, the thing is, but I can imagine I you love, love English because that you. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I love I love math because I believe it's like truth. Right. I believe that math is a fundamental okay. truth. Like if you take five and add five to it, that's 10. And everybody who's like, that's right. a universal language right there. You know, any language you speak, you know, five and right. five is 10. And people say music right. is the universal language and no disrespect towards music. I love music, but deaf people can't hear music, you know, and that's, but they true, know math. True, true. Everybody knows math. So that's right. I that's love right. math as a universal right. truth. And I, I think English might be more of a universal truth than science, but man, it's it, it was a taxing decision. It was a, it was a really tough call there. Yeah, but you do have to have a well balanced because you you you're a guru at math, but then um at the sense of it, you don't you, the way you utilize your mouth and how you're teaching others. That's where the English comes in play. Uh, you sure. wouldn't be able to teach any of it without the English. Uh, True. So there, that's where that balance comes through. A hundred, a hundred percent. On no, the uh, on the ASVAB though, the word knowledge part is actually worth double mm-hmm. every other section. So it's all about like word oh. knowledge is a very heavily weighted test, and that's because using your words is so 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 crucial to job performance, it success, is. to anything. Those words are, are key. Right. So that's why I had to go that with word knowledge. Correct. You know. Good, good, man, good. Now, uh, the next one, this or that, uh, would you prefer, um, now I know everything is geared to uh, virtual, but would you prefer virtual or in-class teaching? I like virtual teaching. Uh, That distinguished honor grad that I worked with, he lives all the way on the East Mm -hmm. Coast. And I love teaching people who are in different states at the same time Mm -hmm. and like that's something you can't do in person. There's a lot to be said for in-person right. teaching, but virtual teaching is just so powerful. You get people who are all right. across the world working with you at the same time. I have a tutor who's actually based that's in right. Jordan and like he's killing it. Hmm. And I'd never wow. be able to do that if I was in person only. So I love v- virtual. Virtual wow. works great. Wow. You hear that now. You hear that. Now that's, that's something outside of what we're talking about as far as just being a business owner itself. Um, you, you, that, that opened up a door for, uh, Mike, for my, uh, Mike Mickey to do that. And if, if we weren't virtual, uh, so that is, there were pros and cons to everything switching to how it is switching in lieu of what's going on. And, uh, it's on you to grab either or out of what's going on. And it Absolutely. looks like uh, Mickey's I grabbing agree. all positives. Yes. Yes. Now this last one, um, this is a, a good one. This pertaining to gas. Uh, if you're gassing up, would you prefer Chevron or Shell? Oh, Chevron all day. Chevron beats Shell any day of the week. I'm a, <laughs> I am a Chevron fan. Chevron with Tecron, baby. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> See, I was Chevron. See, I'm originally from California. So when I was there, I was Chevron. But I think See, here in Vegas, my wife and I are Smith shoppers, so Smith's kind of geared us towards the, the shell direction. It's funny how your uh, grocery store will uh, market to what gas station you use with those points. <laughs> those points <laughs> yeah. to get you. Yeah, you start sharpening at the right <laughs> store. It'll change your, change your gas station preference. But I, I'll is, tell you what, man, Maverick, it, if, you ever sh- if you ever get a chance, get Maverick, man. I love Maverick gas more than anything. So I, I like Maverick, <laughs> but uh, Maverick only gives you the discounts every now and then. You know, yep. it's like, dude, how can I rake up some points? You know, let's give it, <laughs> you know, give and take, give and take. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like every... <laughs> <laughs> and then um i think it was a newer one there's so many newer ones of murphy's um likewise them too is so much um off the dime that they give you to where you can get points um, nice it's very different from going to a grocery store where like me i got a big family so when i go to the grocery store and i spend at least like 300 or 400 i'm automatically like 40 50 cents off gas and nowadays oh, hey, that yo. means a lot it does yes it does it means a lot all right, man. Thanks, Mickey. Mickey, we're going to see how very, very Vegas you are. And um, again, All this right. is not a right or wrong um, answer to this. This is just to educate our audience. And it is pertaining in your field. It's a good one. I have to look this up myself. 
Now, um, what high school um, in 2014 to 2015 was named Naval Honor School by the national headquarters? Wow. Do I get a and multiple choice? this is here choice? in Las Vegas. <laughs> yes, you do. You could. You could throw some. <laughs> throw them at me. <laughs> All right. Dang. What year was it? What year? To 2014 to 2015. Okay. And they 2000... were named the Naval Honor School by the National Headquarters. Naval this is for their GROTC program. All right. I'm going to go with uh, Palo, Palo Alto. Would it be Palo? No, Palo Verde. Palo Verde? Nope. I'll give you one more. All right. Uh, it Val- threw me off a loop, too, when I... I'm I'm thinking Valley. Oh, yeah. Which one? I, I, I know this is very very Vegas. I want to say basic, but I'm thinking I think Valley High School VHS <gasps> was a VHS. Oh man, no, it's funny. It was basic. I thought no. Valley too. My wife even said Valley basic. I'm like, what basic? <laughs> <laughs> basic high school. Wow, 2014. Basic, man. Go for basic. Basic, yeah, man. Great. Man. Hey, it's it's this is a beautiful theme, man, because um I can recall I graduated in ninety six. Um our our JRTC was just really getting real big in the nineties, late nineties. Um I actually took all four years um of ROTC, oh, wow. leaving as a staff sergeant. Correct. And but keep in mind I didn't I wanted to go to the Air Force. So keep in mind, I'm talking late nineties. So where my rank was in ROTC for my four years, um, I did also have a child in my last year in high school. So I remember when I went to sign up, they were doing this thing that I had that the mother had to sign this like waiver thing, like if something <laughs> was to happen to me. And I remember she flipped. She like, I am not signing this. She was saying basically they're telling you you're gonna die. So you, <laughs> and that stopped me from going. So um, now, so now when I had an understanding in my late twenties, like I said, I'm thinking like, all right, when you're 20, you're done. So here I'm, I'm 25. I never, you know, think about it or even flirt with it thinking that, you know, I'm just too old. Yeah. But, um, that's funny that, you know, that, um, those four years in ROTC, um, I hate to see young guys, young girls give that up, especially when they've already done it through high school for four years. Um, it's in their regime. They have the heart, they have the behavior, and um, it's almost like they get caught up in the worldly things between of what's really, you know, what real life is about. And um, I'm glad you're here to cover that bridge for them. Um, Clark County, is there a difference I want to ask you to, Mickey, from, um, because when I was in school, there wasn't an Air Force GROTC, uh, which like Rancho High have. That is different from like basic with the regular one, correct? Each one is different. I believe so. Uh, I'm not as plugged in with the ROTC groups, um, but I know that okay. uh, they do have some Navy, some Air Force, some Marines, some Army ROTC crews in different That's schools. Cool. So it's okay. it's a good, right. it's a That's really real good opportunity. Cool. Definitely. Right. Yes, man, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, basic. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I was just, I was so close. I was, you almost, was there too. You was can there. I, just, I know it's very, very Vegas, but if can we just take away the varies and I'll just be Vegas. I'll just be kind right. of Vegas, or like sort of Vegas. <laughs> oh man, you all the way Vegas, man. You contributing to this community in a good way. And uh, to continue contributing, you need to let them know all your social media handles and your website for us, Mickey. You bet. So you can find me on Facebook at Gammon All Tutors, Instagram, Gammon All Tutors, uh, TikTok, Gammon All Tutors, and YouTube, Gammon All Tutors, or asvabdomination.com. That's A S V A B domination.com. All right. And um, I want to thank my audience for tuning in. We know you could have been anywhere, but you decided to be with us. Uh, Mickey, you, get, you check out Mickey. Mickey Gaminol from Gaminol Tutors, owner of AsValDomination.com. Uh, Mickey, I want to thank you. Thank you for joining me, man. Thank you. All right. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, we will talk offline later, Mickey, for some other things I've set up for you. But we will talk. And I want to thank you for joining me on the show. Okay. 
Thank you so much, Coil. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, and thanks for everything you do for the Vegas community, man. I'm just trying to keep up with you is really what it is. So thank uh, you. <laughs> man, my hat goes off to you, man. You guys all deserve it, man. We love you guys. Las Vegas, we love you. And uh, again, uh, Mickey Gaminol, check them out, asvabdominations.com. Uh, thank you again, Mickey, and good night all. Thank you.